Hello, thank you for tuning in. My name is Nehru, and you are tuned in to The Encourager. I'm going to put someone on blast right now. All right? Straight blast. So, and again, I know they listen. Okay, so I am going to share with you the revelations that I've gotten for the last two years in regards to this twin flame relationship in which uh, the divine masculine was either already married in a committed relationship uh, or what have you when her and I started dating in 2019 in October. And at that time, we were both still a part of the religious system. I left that system in September of 2022 after realizing uh, what was really going on and going through the dark night of the soul and what, what was really transpiring and realizing that she didn't love me from the beginning, but she ended up falling in love with me. And the original plan from the beginning was to uh, was to just use me, it was just sex and money, it was to use me. So I remember an event, we went over to her uncle's house. Yeah, her uncle's house, okay? And he lived just a couple of streets over from where we did. I had moved in with her in December of 2019. And uh, the house that her uncle was living in was a house that had been in the family for several years. And uh, I think maybe the uncle's mother or someone had it or something like that. And so, um, yeah, so uh, um there was an incoming call. I don't know if it was, I don't know if you heard the ring on the other side, but uh, yeah, to me, that's just a distraction to stop me from saying what I'm going to say. So I don't give a fuck. I'm not answering that phone call. Uh, they can leave a message. So one of the times we went over there, we were hanging out, you know, drinking, smoking, right? And, uh, her aunt uh, got really, really drunk. Her, her aunt is an alcohol. Her aunt is a functioning alcoholic, this particular aunt. And so she ended up going to the room, I guess, passing out or whatever. So Roxanne, who is the, the false flame, false twin flame, uh, she, I guess, went in there to... Uh, I don't know, I guess, I don't know, keep her hair from going in the toilet when she was puking. I don't know what she was doing. So anyway, well, I do now. So anyway, she comes back outside or back out into the common area. And she tells me that her aunt well, had like, uh, like taken all of her clothes off and blah, blah, blah. And she was laughing about it. So this is what I know happened. Roxanne and her aunt is Maribel. Uh, they were having sexual relations during that time, okay? Her and her aunt are sexually involved with one another, okay? So she, the false twin flame, is a closet lesbian. She doesn't want to admit it. She tries to hide behind it, but karma's kicking her in the ass, and I am sitting on the edge of my fucking seat waiting for this shit to fall apart and for me to be contacted by her or by someone letting me know that all the stuff that I've been exposing on YouTube on this channel is real. It's true. I'm not lying. I am an earth angel and I am the truth. Whether she admits it, the minister she's involved with, whether that's Steve Parker at the Rock of Central Florida or or Robert E. Mitchell at Mana, 
or whoever else that happens to be. She also might be licking her best friend. Her best friend's name is Justina. Uh, there might be some orgies, bisexual, whatever's going on between them. She may have had sex with someone who was a friend of mine. His name is AJ. He's also a, a leader at The Rock uh, of Central Florida. Also, Chris Myers, his name keeps coming up. His wife's name is Jamie. Her name keeps coming up. I'm not playing fucking games. You see, I'm throwing fucking names out there. The name of the church is the Rock of Central Florida. The sorry ass motherfuckers are located in Sanford, Florida on State Road 46, bitch. Okay? Gloves are off. Gloves are off. Gloves are off. So, this coven is being exposed for all their sex, magic, orgies, whatever it is that they're doing. She was a part of Robert E. Mitchell's church manor for 15-something years. She was the worship leader, secretary, and he is a child molester. He molested her son. He molested other males within that congregation. True facts. True facts. True facts. Okay? Um... These people are thieves. They are liars. Uh, they are manipulators. They are witchcraft workers. They have created a doll that they use to do witchcraft against me. They have built an altar. They have literally done these things along with my relatives. I have an un aunt and an uncle that live in that same city in Deltona, Florida, where the false flame lives and her uncle they all live in Deltona and her best friend. They all live in Deltona and Chris and Jamie. They all live in Deltona. All of them. All of them. Two thousand twenty four is the year of eight. It's for new beginnings. It's a new beginning for me. It's a new beginning for them, regardless of what they have done in the past. It's a new beginning, whether that new beginning is in purgatory physical or spiritual, or that place is in paradise. That's a choice we all make. That's a choice we all make. So as I've sat here for the last two years, again, very patient, very calm, definitely had some very, very icy conversations with Most High. Very icy, very strong, very, very warrior conversations with Most High. Very much so. Very much so. Okay. Lit conversations. Most of them starting out with what the fuck. Very lit conversations. Very. So. Other things that I've noticed over the years. All of her friends are homosexuals. Her closest friends, they're all homosexuals. I've never met someone who has as many homosexual friends as she does. That's an indicator. She couldn't suck a dick. No oral sex. She was terrible at it. And there's an indication, man, if a woman is bad at oral sex, the chances are she does not really like you. She likes women. We'll let that simmer for a minute. If she sucks your dick and she doesn't know what she's doing, it's not that she doesn't know what she's doing. She really doesn't like to do that. She likes women. I remember when I met her, she told me, that she forges documents or she used to or something like that. And she was like, I don't do that anymore or something like that, which was a lie. She's a paralegal or was at Pius Pius Pius, the Spanish law firm in Central Florida in Orlando. Their office was in Deltona, three minutes from her house. In that office, there was a homosexual man who is supposed to be an attorney. His name is Peter. His partner's name is Juan. They may have been having some type of relationship amongst them. There is someone who worked at Pius, Pius, Pius also, 
whose name is Quan. She's mentioned this name to me. They have, are or were involved in a relationship, a romantic relationship. Her cunt stays open like 7-Eleven because she has a fucking sex addiction. All the things I say is out of love. Don't think I'm coming with anger. Truth is love. If you don't believe truth is love, then you don't you don't know what most high is about. You don't know what most high is about if you don't believe that truth is love. And everybody trying to sweep this shit under the rug over there. I hope y'all die and go to hell. I don't care who the fuck you are. I don't care what your title is. I don't care what your community status is. I don't care how long you've been a minister at the fucking church you pastor. If you are a part of this and you refuse to come forward with the truth and you see it, I hope you die and go to hell. And in fact, my ancestors will make it so. Most high will make it so. The ascended masters that got my back, we will make it so, Saint Germain. We will make it so, Mother of Mary. We will make it so. Mother Mary, we will make it so. We will make it so, Jesus. We will make it so. I'm sick of motherfuckers kicking the goddamn can down the road. Motherfuckers need to come clean. Last year was all about recognizing the lies and the betrayal that was happening to the collective to the anointed ones whatever your place and position might be within that this year is the year of justice justice allows for a new beginning spiritually naturally justice allows for a new beginning sorry ass karmic judges that allowed these things the, the attorneys that push these papers through illegally and help someone take my identity, you're going to hell, buddy. You're going to hell. You're going to purgatory. I'm pressing charges. I'm taking every fucking thing you got. Your house, your car. I'm taking everything. Everything. We coming for everything. Your fucking house you just built, we taking that bitch. We taking that bitch. I had a dream last night about Steve's wife. Her name is Kim. They had a vehicle packed and she was looking over in the vehicle and from the front, they were leaving. I was standing in the yard. She turned around and she was waving to me. Their vehicle was packed. Yeah, I had that dream last night. Yeah, I had that dream last night. So long. I had a dream about Kim, a repeated vision I had about Kim. She was much older and she was like in a hospital or in hospice or something and I was the th words that kept being exchanged were, we have accomplished all that we came to do. Hmm. We won't be exchanging those words. I will be saying that. I don't know what they'll be saying when it's all said and done. If, they, if he doesn't come forward with the truth, if he doesn't reach out to me, I guarantee you that place in five years is going to be a... It's going to be back to desolate land like he found it. That's what's going to happen. And that's not me sending out a curse. That's me sending out what is going to happen when people continue to hide behind lies and refuse to come forward with the truth for sake of embarrassment or shame. This is how you know when someone is religious or if someone is righteous. People who hide behind the truth are religious religious these are the witchcraft workers that sit in your pews every week sit in your chairs every week give you their money these are the witchcraft workers that sit in front of your face every damn week ministers people these are the ministers that stand in front of you every damn week spitting out lies and half truths which is a whole lie These are the people that you follow. These are the people that you lead. You lead witchcraft workers. You lead D 
demons. You lead Eastern Star Masons and you, you lead these people who are part of these evil cults and covens. You lead these people. Or you are one of these people and you proclaim to be a leader. Take it where it resonates. One of the dreams I had was about AJ's parents. One of the dreams I had early on, probably a year ago, almost a year ago, nine months maybe. We're at a building and I saw them and I went up to them to give me a hug. The wife's name is Tamara and the husband's name is Archie. They would not give me a hug. Fuck y'all dumbass. I told y'all when the exodus happened in 2013 that a soldier's heart is never revealed in garrison, motherfucker. Guess who the fucking soldier with the heart is, bitch? This one. I'm not the one that went AWOL. Y'all follow the fucking leader that went AWOL. I'm the real fucking soldier. Yeah, this earth angel, this extraterrestrial, this Egyptian bloodline shaman, yeah, I'm the real one, motherfucker. Keep following false-ass teachings if you want to. You know what it says. You follow that teaching, your dumb asses will all fall in the ditch, bitch. Gloves off. Gloves off. Gloves off. Somebody need their ass beat. Naturally, spiritually. Somebody think they can beat my ass? Bring it on. I'll give you my fucking address. I dare your dumb ass to show up. Think you got what, think you got what it takes? Hmm? You think you can win? Bring it on. You think you got it? You think you got what it takes? Bring it. You and all your fucking entourage. I'm one fucking person. Y'all couldn't beat me. It's 50, 55 of y'all motherfuckers. Y'all can't beat me. You won't win. You didn't win because you can't. So what I suggest is one of y'all motherfuckers get on the phone, one of y'all motherfuckers get on Facebook, get on YouTube, I know y'all watch my fucking channel, y'all need to reach out to me, y'all need to fucking repent, cause hell and brimstone's raining down on y'all ass, diseases, motherfuckers dying, and I don't give a fuck, I'm not having mercy, I'm fucking swinging that goddamn sledgehammer, viciously, viciously. I'm decapitating motherfuckers left and right. I don't care what your last name is. I don't care what our relationship was. I don't give a fuck. I could have given sperm to birth your ass. If you against me, I'm decapitating your ass. That's for you, Alexis and Kim. That's for both of y'all. I don't give a fuck. 